Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I thought I'd do a video about the Zoom tool. The Zoom tool, the pan tool, are right here in your flyout, and you'll see a hotkey for them. Zoom tool is Z, pan tool is H. So if you've got your pick tool and you want the Zoom tool, all you have to do is hit the, the uh, Z key, and if you want the... The pan tool, just hit the hotkey H, and then you can pan around by moving it at that zoom level. You can, it, uh, and when you get the zoom tool, there's a lot of tools up here. You can do percentages, but you can do that same thing with your mouse wheel. Just move your mouse wheel in and out. There's shift F4, which is page, which is right here. Zoom to page, which is Shift F4. You can zoom to the page width. You can zoom to the page height. Zoom to all objects, which is F4, which I use more than any key is I hit the F4 key. For a lot of reasons, if you had something you'd drawn way off the page over here, or even on the page, and you're zoomed in, you can't see it, but if you hit the F4, it's going to zoom over there and collect that item. Of course, I've already mentioned the mouse wheel. Then there's the lasso zoom. So we're going to grab this uh, zoom tool, and I'm going to lasso around. It's going to bring up a zoom of that, uh, what you zoomed in on. If we zoom in on the F4, and that's really it. I mean, there's percentages stuff that you can change. You can, you know, here's your fit to page, your fit to your width, fit to your height, you know, 1600%. But what I was saying about the pan tool, if you're working on like, a, I do a lot of maps and charts and you want a big zoom level, but you want a bit of move around, just hit the H. And then you can move that same zoom level around, particularly if you were, let's change this to a curve. Let's uh, control K and break it all apart. Let's say you're working control K. Well, I'd already changed it to a curve. If you ever do that, you want to control K first and then convert everything to a curve and those center dots won't go away. And we're gonna go control K again and it's gonna break off this four. So let's say and it's already a curve. So I'm gonna hit the Z key and get the zoom tool. Let's say I was zoomed in and I really wanted to look at some nodes on this. Let's, uh, let's left click, right click, and you can, let me make sure I've turned it into a curve. curve. So you're working on these nodes, but if you hit the H tool, you can zoom around at that zoom level and see those nodes. And then if you wanted to make this one a little different, you could uh, convert it to a curve and you could add a little bit of curve to that. And you're still at that zoom level, so I can hit the H key again and just keep moving around. Do I need to delete a lot of nodes? So that's all about the zoom tool, and if you want that back. Now, in always, almost every tool, when you want to get the, the uh, your pick tool back, just hit your space bar, and now you have your pick tool back. Same thing if you want your zoom tool back. You can zoom back and forth with your space bar. So I'm not even touching anything, but just clicking on the space bar, and you can go between those last two tools. Same thing with the virtual segment delete key. We've got the virtual segment delete key, and then I hit the space bar. I got the pick tool again. But then I hit it again, I got the virtual segment delete key. So you can delete some lines, and then we're going to hit, I've got the magnifying glass. I'm going to hit the space bar. Well, I, I, I zoomed in. So I got the virtual, virtual segment delete key. I'm going to use the pick tool, but I want the, the uh, virtual segment delete key back and I can delete that line. So the last two tools you use, it'll 
go between there. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.